Yeah, like this. So, um, just the usual thing. You, uh, this will never stop, I'm guessing. But the, the arguments between like salvation just seems to be ongoing all the time. <clears throat> you got people saying, yeah, but you know, you got to give up sin, and then you got the other mobs. You don't need to give up sin for salvation. Salvation's a blah blah blah. Whatever. I was, I'll see if I can simplify it a bit <clears throat> so people understand. It's not not straight and straight line. There's different lines. So anyway, so you got your bouncer stamp, all right? So what, what what's happening with the people that are saying no, you don't, you know, um, you don't need to stop sin and all that sort of stuff. Salvation's a free gift, but fair enough, they're they're right. It's all free, all right? So what they've done is they come up to the the bouncer's door at the at the nightclub or whatever, and uh, they've you know put all the right forms in and all that sort of stuff that they've needed to do to get into this nightclub. And now they've got their stamp, their stamp of approval, right? So they've now gone, oh, awesome, I've got my free gift, I've got my stamp, right? And then they go back home, right? They don't go into the nightclub, they don't go in there and pick up their cross. They're, that's it, they're happy with their stamp, and off they go, right? And they go tell everyone else about their stamp, how they got their stamp, right? And that's it. So that's, that's where the two groups of salvation... Uh, differ um you've still got your salvation you don't you know the the first group's right so yeah i'll put it this way so the, the first group the one i'm talking about that go go back home and go back to their sin or whatever <coughs> is this lot so you start off with john 644 um no one comes to me except if the father draws them all right through the father right so the father will start to draw you so you'll desire to seek truth you look for the truth, you'll find that Jesus is the truth, right? And you accept him, um, and you want your paradise and um, follow the salvation steps. So you do all the salvation stuff, um, you believe on Jesus, right, which is really good. And uh, there you go, you've gained your free gift, uh, you're saved, it's completed, and off you go and you tell others, all right? And this is uh, your goal, is the... Uh, Thief on the cross, same thing happened to him. He got saved, he didn't have to do nothing. Um, he got paradise, and uh, usually these people will say, do no works, do no works, don't do anything, don't don't help Jesus. All right. Um, so the other lot, they do it this way sort of thing. So yeah, you'll see there, the gift is paradise. With this lot, you have a gift, you can have paradise if you want, you get the reward as well, which is third heaven, um, you don't go to paradise, you go to third heaven, you can be 144k, so there's a lot more in, in this group, so the goal is is not, um, the goal is not this, not the thief on the cross, not paradise and all that, the goal is to know God, this is what they want to do, they just want to know God, Right, they're not after being saved or salvation. They never started off looking at thirst for truth. So with the thirst for truth, you also should really make a decision in your mind that you're not going to tell any lies either, right? You, you've actually got to be sick of lies and the deceit that's going on in the world that you're not going to be a part of it, right? So you make that sort of decision. And this is the thirst for truth. This means you love truth, all right? So you, you need a love of truth to go looking for it. Because uh, it's about the only way you're going to find it, if you love it. All right. So uh, realize that you're broken and your life's um, not going anywhere. All right. And you need fixing and uh, cry out to Jesus and uh, cry out to God and uh, ask him to, like, tears, whatever you need. Have a good think about it. <clears throat> um, and you can follow your salvation steps and all that sort of stuff. So you... You should be talking to God by now, so, um, well, prayers or whatever, I used to just talk to him during the day anyway, even if I was in prayers or not. Um, <clears throat> so you'll notice changes in your life. Once you've said, God fix me, um, I can't do it, you'll notice things will happen. Some of them will be bad, you'll think they're bad, but, you know, you'll end up in breakups or you'll start to remove bad things from your life, right? So bad people bad influences, all that sort of stuff. Um, so those sort of things. So embrace it and continue to talk to him and ask him for help and all that sort of thing. Um, 
I ask him what Bible to get. You know, there's always the big arguments in the Bible. Um, I didn't start off with the King James. I went to any Bible, but I knew he wanted me to go to the King James. He, he kept dropping hints, but I didn't listen because it was just I didn't like Shakespeare. So anyway, yeah, you'll figure that out. Um, ask for help to make your vessel clean so that the Holy Spirit can dwell in without grief, right? Because you want to give the Holy Spirit a good place to... If the Holy Spirit's going to hang out in, in, in you now, right? And um, you want fruit, fruit of the Spirit, right? Which is um, uh, the way God wants you to be, is to have fruit of the Spirit. So to, for that to happen, you need the Holy Spirit to hang out in you and help you with it and um, to bring out fruit of the Spirit. So you just continue on this line. Just, just ask for help and as you go along, God will guide you and you continue on this path. So... This is where you've got past the bouncer, right? You've picked up your cross and you're carrying on. Right? This is it. You just keep going. This this lot here, this lot here have stopped. All they've done is like gone off and tell other people, no, you don't need to do nothing. Um, and blah, blah, blah. They're saved, all right? They're happy. That's it. So these are the two groups that are bickering with each other. And uh, they, don't, they don't understand there's two different things. This is a gift, all right? This here is a reward. Those that carry on carrying their cross get a reward. Those that don't want to do anything, they get the gift. So you got Jesus in the center cross, right? You die with Jesus and um, you, you go for the reward side. If you die with a thief on the cross, you go for the paradise side. If you die with the other fellow on the other cross, that's Judah. All right? So um, I hope that clears things up a bit. So to to all you guys that have gone this side there's fine there's nothing wrong with that the, most of you lot end up being the tribulation saints uh, which which most of you want to be anyway so um that's that's what it go is this one here is um a little bit more different this is more like the bride and 144 will come from this sort of area from these people and uh, you'll have like your your proper priests and your levis come out of this area all right, so hope that helped. Yeah, God bless, guys. I can stop this thing. There we go.